Is up, guess this week, right, folks? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> we swapped. <laughs> you, just, you know, sometimes you gotta swap intros and then do them at the same, same time. time and not coordinate it at all. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's great. I mean, we're not known for our coordination. <laughs> well, I, no, we're not. <laughs> this is not a high production show. And that's fine. Mm-hmm. And that's what the people like. I think the people love it. Yeah. What's been the highlight of your past seven? Oh, uh, the highlight. Let's see. Um, I got I got my booch. It's all all brewed up, and it tastes Calm fine. Booch. Um. It it the bacterial stuff in it is so strong. It starts forming its own cultures in the second stage which is kind of gross i have to fish out like booger looking things from it um sounds delicious yeah and all the people listening that i'm trying to convince to drink this stuff is are probably like um pass but well at least one person listening um you know it's called calm butcher but what about excited butcher maybe that'll get the people going that's where you just, uh, that's when you let it keep fermenting and it turns into alcohol. Yeah. And then you Hell get, yeah. and then you black out at a wedding. Uh, who else done that? Who else have? I, I played the new Ratchet and Clank game that came out you did. yesterday. It's uh, pretty fun. It's not, it's not a Japanese game and I'm having a good time. You heard it here first. Um, you, no, I was going to say you played a different Oh, you play Fortnite. That's not Japanese. Yeah, I mean, that's just like a multi... I don't know. Like, in my brain, I consider multiplayer games, like, different than... They're, like, not real. Yeah, like, it's, it's like, a thing to do with... I don't consider it a video game, which is a stupid mental block. Like, I'm going to pick up Mario Golf and be like, ah, yes, an activity. <laughs> Great. I mean, Wii Golf was an activity. I hope they bring back the swings. I think they have to, right? I mean, it, was, it wouldn't be hard. The old Joy-Con things can, I think, detect it. Yeah, imagine they, like they use it in. Uh, imagine Mario the Tennis. haptic feedback when you hit the ball in the game and you feel it in your hand when you swing. Yeah. Of course, that would be sick. I would. Be, I'm, I'd bust right there, dude. <laughs> I don't know about that. Swinging with one hand and busting with the other. Uh, sure. Yeah. Nintendo, please sponsor us. Has Nintendo ever it's, sponsored a podcast? I doubt it. No, they don't really need absolutely to. Absolutely not. They just released a like game making game, like Mario Maker, Mario Maker but Maker for too. but for everything. Um, okay. And it's like thirty, but I might get it. It looks kind of fun. You've been trying to make a game for quite some time. I keep telling myself I'm going to, and I think when I'm going to start the day that this episode comes out, because I have also been watching the bachelorette and it's, it's bad, dude. Like, I mean, it's always bad, but like when I'm like, it's so bad, I'm going to the bachelorette dude, literally. Um, like it's so bad. I'm like, yeah, I might do something productive while it's on in the background. Like that's, yeah rough from me um i'm mostly because like all the guys are really boring not that like not that i care if like the guys are like really cool and interesting and exciting but you know like they're really boring and they're not fighting each other which is most of the enjoyment and then like i'm not into the main girl katie either physically uh i mean she's fine but she's she's just like an average white girl and like who cares we all know my stances on white women um (laughs) Uh, don't we don't yeah it's it's been made very clear um and also she's like really annoying like she has theater kid energy in a little bit of a ways and also she's like sex positive in a way that's like cringe 
you know? I don't. Yeah. Well, like, cause her, her, when she walked out of the limo in her season of the bachelor, she just like walks out with this like giant, like massive vibrator. And like, that was her like opening thing. Like, Oh, Hey, like I've been using this a lot during the quarantine. What if a man did that with a flashlight? Uh, one guy did it with a blow up doll, but I think that's a little, that's not quite the same. It's very clearly a joke. Yeah, like she was doing a bit, but like also she was speaking very Her truthfully. Truth. Yeah, where like if I walked out with a flashlight, like I would have been shot, or I, well, they wouldn't have <laughs> cast me in the first place, but um, they wouldn't have let me do that. <laughs> yeah, um, it's weird. And like the season preview just shows like a lot of weird sexualization of all the men, which I know probably sounds very hypocritical to our largely female audience yeah. <laughs> of uh, you know, cause there used to be sexualized in the media all the time, but it's like really weird watching the bachelor where like, you know, like, yeah, there's a lot of eye candy women and that's a lot of the appeal of the show probably, but like there's, they don't like treat them like pieces of meat the way they do on the bachelorette with the guys. It's like, Hey, get naked. Like that's one of the fucking challenges for this season. And I'm like, it's a hard challenge. I'm, Hopefully some guys aren't hard during it. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure if they were, we're going to hear about it, and it's going to be like, "Wow, isn't this sex positive and great?" I'd be like, "I just want these guys to fight each other, and maybe eventually get emotionally invested by the end." I don't. Well, I wouldn't want this. I wouldn't want to be on that date, you know, on either position. <laughs> that's that's fair. I don't want to be on any date, really. Not even with your wife. I would, I would love that, but that doesn't count. Yeah, it doesn't really count when you're like married. I mean, it does, but yeah, you know what I mean. I yeah. know what you mean. You don't, there you don't is get an to say that we're dating. Yeah, but it's true. Yeah. Um. So that was your highlight. You did not like The Bachelorette. <laughs> yeah, I played video games and I didn't like The Bachelorette. I'm trying to think if anything else happened. Uh, I made some gnocchi, good gnocchi homemade. Yeah. That was cool. Gnocchi? Gnocchi. Uh, potato? No, I made it with ricotta instead of Ooh. potato, with, and, which is easier, kind of, and I think they taste better. I would agree with that. Than, I would agree with that sentiment. The, I don't, I mean, I, I, I don't like potatoes that much, so this is getting I mean, into the like food they're... boy crimes. Ooh, food boy crimes. <laughs> Um, I'm probably Mario Batali uh, sexually harassed people. <laughs> Boom. There's our food boy crime of but the week. He did wear Yeezys to court, which was did, did he really? <laughs> he that absolutely rule. did. <laughs> Mario Batali rules. His cooking show's great. Uh, you think he could beat up Mario Mario and Luigi Mario? Um. Mario it depends button. on the game. Like if it was a Mario and Luigi game where they have the little tag team attacks, they probably win. But if it's like Super Smash Brothers and it's like a two on one that way, I think Mario Batali wins. I would agree. He's got a lot of forearm strength from cast iron skillets all the time. Yeah. I feel Probably like now all the stuff I lift in my kitchen is very slowly making your bodybuilder. Yeah, a little bit. Because kitchen aids are heavy, and my fucking kid, yeah. my pizza steals like fifty pounds. Yeah. yeah, I believe it. This is a bodybuilding cast, bodybuilding crimes. <laughs> uh, uh, Lance Armstrong, uh, <laughs> probably, probably every bodybuilder yeah. ever. <laughs> <laughs> probably all of them. <laughs> oh, and if you think about it, every woman is a bodybuilder in a way, right? I mean, if she has a kid, yeah, and that's that's a trans exclusive take, skill shy, so you're canceled. He's just looking right Fuck. into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Delete this episode. Yeah, it's okay. It's a you know vagina it havers back. occupation. Being a bodybuilder. There we go. We saved it. Now we it's it. now it's trans inclusive. We love trans people, okay? Yep. It's true. 
All two of us. Now, now non-binary people? Uh, who's to say? I think that they're people. I also think that they're people. I think that they deserve human rights. I agree. And there we have it, folks. There we have it. Uh... <laughs> And that's all there really is has to be said about any kind of person, really. Yeah. The only people I believe do not deserve human rights. Do you know it? Who? A signed cop at birth. Well, right, folks. folks. A cab, as it's known. All cats uh, are babies. Bring yeah. back a classic from a year ago. <laughs> And it, that one did numbers on Twitter, man. I got like three likes. <laughs> it's almost viral. No, the only times um, I go viral is when I'm getting canceled for saying bisexual people need to calm down. <laughs> a, a measured take. <laughs> Look, I mean, I, again, I stand by what I said. We're a little spicy in an area <laughs> I'm not comfortable with this episode. <laughs> I thought I mean, we were doing fine, and then all of a sudden, I'm just like, I don't, I don't know where we are. I, I'm lost in this ocean of Zoomer, um, city, Zoomer city. Dude, the freaking Zoomers, man. I think Zoomers are people and deserve human rights. <laughs> I agree. And there we have it, folks. It's all that needs to be said. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Uh, in in another topic, um, I have big news. Well, what's the? Oh yeah, you're saying you had big news. I want to know. What I the have big, news, big is. news. Um, I have oh, alerted the candy. <laughs> <laughs> We're moving on. Um, I have alerted the candy factory that I will no longer be working there. What? Whoa. I already knew that. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the uh, now we can dox the candy factory as much as we want. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I mean, okay, in <laughs> in two weeks. In two weeks. Um, Although, if you really looked hard enough, I know one fan certainly did. Uh, you can <laughs> you can find the candy factory and, and is that one fan Arthur or is that one Arthur? Fan? <laughs> oh, that's not Arthur. <laughs> oh boy, I I am unaware of this. Yeah, but um, it's fine. It's chill. It's don't, chill. Don't call my place of work and ask about me. That's, I don't think she would. Oh, <laughs> that's information I didn't know. Um, yeah, like, that's all. <laughs> no, it's, yeah. We have one listener who is known to uh, call people's places of work without who? knowledge. I'm not going to say it. They but know who they type are. Type it in the chat. I'm just curious. <laughs> Uh, you probably remember. Uh, I will. I'll probably. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah everybody remembers that they, scenario. This individual is known for this. Um, yeah. So, you know, don't, don't. Call. I should reach out to that second individual and see if they'll listen to the podcast again. <laughs> it's been a year. Uh, we haven't bullied them in a year. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Um, so yeah, I, I have uh, alerted them. I still work there for two more weeks. Is everyone really sad that you're leaving? Uh, no one knows yet because I emailed HR after they left on Friday. So uh, so they'll come in on Monday and be like, "Cool, oh. I love doing that. That's a fun, that's yeah, a fun but it, email." But it counts towards the two weeks because I did date you, the email yeah. in the email, even though it's predated. Yeah. Um. Just to be like, look, I, I got it in. It may have been 6.30 on a Friday, but that's what you get. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's going to be big for me. I have nothing lined up. I have no future prospects. Oh, okay. I was, I was wondering about that other piece. That's an interesting <laughs> move. Um, yeah, it's just like, you know. Presumably something will work out. Yeah. Hopefully it's this podcast. Yeah, we could be like the loud voice. Get yeah, two thousand we'll, dollars on Patreon. <laughs> that would be good. Like if I got all of it <laughs> I uh You could live. Might I might be able to live. 
I don't know if you know this. Uh, the world's very expensive. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Just move to the United States. Yeah. I will one day. Wow. That's you That's heard it here first. Yeah. I, I had to promise my wife that I will move to the Americas. So. Really? Yeah. Like, is this, was this like a pre-marriage promise or is this even, is this too much to even disclose on the podcast? <laughs> um, it was like, it was sort of implied pre-marriage. Okay. And then made very explicit later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which like is fine. Of course. My thing is that like, not just America, but America is not going to exist for very much longer. So it's fine. When you say not just America, do you mean? I mean, like a lot of the world is going to crumble. Hopefully all of it. Um, well, hopefully if we, none of us are alive for that. Well, if, you know, if you die in the next like 10 years, probably, <laughs> probably you're okay. <laughs> um, I am on that path. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah. yeah, the feeling by like, I don't know, 2028, 2027, probably society will have collapsed. And then 2030, 2032, we're looking at, you know, like everybody's dead. I mean, you think that's, <laughs> is that fair or am I being mentally ill? Um, I mean, you're definitely being mentally ill, okay. but are you, did you do the wrong math to get to the right answer? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what math do you think I did? And what do you think is the correct math? I don't know. I, did, I don't do well with follow up questions. Um, hey, uh, that's what we call a reference, a throwback joke. Yeah. That's your second time quoting me on this podcast already. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, because I'm just in a silly mood from drinking all this kombucha. A, a silly, it's all this probiotic energy. I'm quite a silly boy. Um, yeah, I Ooh. think that, you know, things are going to be bad. And yeah. they've been bad for several decades. Um, but they're going to get worse, is, yeah, my, sure. is my feeling. I mean, as long as Final Fantasy 16 comes out in the next couple of years, I'm good. Um, yeah. Sure. There's that there's the new Dark Souls game that's not called Dark Souls Elden Ring that comes out next January, unless it gets delayed, which probably would. Um, and that's keeping me going for the next like six months, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's all you can ask for. I mean, really, video man. games. Video games so video frequently games. in my life are have been the thing to keep me going. I'm like, well, at least this game's coming out in a few months, so I do want to play it. That's dark. Yeah. I'm going to die alone. It's fine. Who cares? We're all going to die alone. I mean, you come into this world alone. I think, every, and I think everybody dies alone. Well, I'm going to die and also live alone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little yeah. less common. Yeah. No, I, I think I've given up on on uh, on the idea of, of, of finding a bay. I think that's. I think that's the first step in finding a bay. I think you're right, but also like this, I, like this time I'm like, oh no, I'm like just gonna try and like hook up with people, and I don't really care about their feelings, and that's fine. Yeah, that's you it's know. a bad thing to do, but you know. Yeah, I don't do it, but also you know, I'm not cares. your mom. Yeah. I've been used for my body for too long. All right. You're like, that's, that's weird. That's weird. Um, did you, did you hear about the, the shooting that happened in your hood? Really? Yeah. And in, uh, in downtown Austin, a, a, a shooting happened. I the shooting happened this. like an hour ago. Really? Oh, well, yeah. I, I was playing video games. So I, yeah. <laughs> Um, and also, I don't look at the news unless someone I yeah. follow on Twitter from Austin tweeted about it. I wouldn't have seen it. Yeah, well, it happened at uh, Trinity and Sixth Street. Oh, Sixth Street, wild. Yeah, it's the Museum of the Weird. Apparently, just right, right around there. 
Oh, I think a girl took me there once. Hmm. Was she using you for your body? Um, probably, yeah, actually. Because one time she was, like, really insisting on coming over because she wanted to bang. And I was like, meh. Um, oh, this is the same girl that when I would, after we recorded that insane episode that we never posted. Well, yeah, I was insane. You were very normal. Um, I then like invited her over to my dad's house, like while I was house sitting. And then we like hung out for an hour and then I made her leave. Nothing happened. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's kind of real. Probably. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was um, probably for the best. I don't think that would have gone well if I had I mean I shouldn't have had her over at all but I think I did the honorable choice of just yeah there's honor in that yeah um, I'm a so good the man, person the, the shooter who is a man um, has, has not been caught he's on the loose right now really so, yeah <laughs> but I hope so, he he goes a little north alright you know That'd be funny if he popped in on this podcast and I'd be like, hey, before you murder me, you want to just like you want to just like hang out on the cast? Just hop on the cast real quick. Yeah, we can have our first guest uh, guest criminal live. Yeah. And then live on probably on the lamb could call this episode on the lamb. It would be sick, actually. Like just in general or. I think it would skyrocket our popularity. If you just called it On the Lamb, like this episode. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if that's if that's going to do it, but if it was called On the Lamb and we had a, a murder on the lamb. Oh. oh, okay. I thought you were just saying we're just calling this episode. I feel like now we have to call it On the Lamb. Now we might. I might throw a B on the on the lamb just to. Does it not? Is it not normally with a B? No. Really? How do you spell it? On the lamb. Yeah. I don't believe Uh, you. (laughs) It's true. Um, Oh my god, it is. Yeah. Because then the fourth, like the third thing down, is on the lamb or lamb with a B. Yeah. And who's right? No. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm just. I guess I'm just an idiot. Everybody, everyone listening, everyone listening is like, honey, we've been known. It's an obscure phrase. Uh, it's whole cool shirt. Thanks, man. My shirt's just a. Uh, it's a normal shirt. It's like a. It's like a bureaucrat Hawaiian shirt. I feel like I have bureaucrat Hawaiian vibes. So, thank you. You're welcome. Um, but now that we've gotten into the crimes, I think it's time that I discuss my crime. Ooh. Um, involves the... Did you do your research? I did a little bit of research. I also did a little bit of research. This is also a story that no one has talked about. Really? You're like, because I I did it. (laughs) Um, Yeah, this is a story that no one has talked about. Uh, There's very few articles about it. And the, the article that they did have... I lost. No, I'm just kidding. I found it. Uh, I was like, are you just kidding? <laughs> it just doesn't way. exist. Mm. Um, I thought I lost it because I have two articles. One of them is bad and one of them is good. And uh, they look the same. All right. So here's a story about a young man named Aaron Key. Aaron? Aaron. Like A-A-Ron? Or- A-A-Ron. All right. Not that um, it well, actually, matters in case the folks at home want to do a little Google. Yeah, if you want to look this man up. Uh, but I'm going to tell you his whole life story, basically. So he's 19. And it does, it's not good when you start off at they're a teenager. <laughs> he's, he's 19 in 2013 when this story happened, or at least when the story came out. Yeah. Um, so. As most teenagers, I think, have in common, he didn't really want a tattoo on his neck. Um, but was he forced to by a gang? Close, very extremely close. Ooh. Um, by his parents. 
two-man gang, technically the smallest gang you could have. Um, so he frequented um, a nice little smoke shop entitled Squid Smoke Shop in Portland, Oregon. Squid, you say? Squid. How um, how interesting. How interesting. For no that, reason in particular. <laughs> no reason in particular. I've chosen this story about Squid Smoke Shop. Um <laughs> So did they you, said, did you did you look up squid crimes? <laughs> Literally, I googled squid crime. Yeah, uh, I just I wanted to see what would happen, and this is this is an interesting story. My, uh, my mind's about the same. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Squid Smoke Shop were like, look, it would be perfect to promote this store um, if this 19-year-old got a tattoo of a giant squid smoking a joint on his neck. (laughs) That sucks. (laughs) Yeah. Um, And so Aaron, he's like, look, I go to this smoke shop all the time. All the time. Right? He's hanging out. There's, there's like, video games set up here. Um and it's a smoke and shop so or is like, it a Chucky the Cheese? Exactly. Charles Entertainment Cheese. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he's like, yeah, I play video games here. I'm hanging out with my friends here. And they're like, look, the the owner of the Squid Smoke Shop, Squid, um, known as Squid, was like, <laughs> look, I'll pay you and your best friend $150 each if you get a giant squid smoking a joint tattoo on your neck. It doesn't even <laughs> include the car. Co- that's probably that's like the, the cost logo. of the tattoo. Yeah. That's like the logo of their smoke shop. So um, already weird, right? You're like, this is a little bit of an uncomfortable, like pressuring this teenager to get a. And it was a just 150. Tattoo. It wasn't 150 on top of the cost of the tattoo. I believe that they paid for the tattoo, okay. but um, I don't think it, it says. Um, now, Aaron Key yeah. uh, noted in this article, it's its own paragraph, Key, who is mentally disabled, was convinced. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of mental disability did he have? It does, does it not say. say. Uh, does not say. Because um, that, I mean, that really runs a wide... yeah. A wide gambit of, of possibilities. So, um, him and his real, friend... Real quick, what's what's his name? How do you spell it? A.A. A- Ron? A.A. Ron Key. Like a house key. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, so... It, he's like, this is my hangout. Me and my friend, Marquis Glover. We like to hang out. We play Xbox. We chat with the owner, Squid. Um, yeah. So, they take this $150... They get their tattoos, their whole neck, like yeah. jawbone to collarbone, squid smoking a joint. And then they have these tattoos for months. And then it turns out this whole smoke shop operation was ATF agents conducting a sting. Mm, I see that because I just, I just, Googled yeah. It. And I, to answer, I, 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 I answered my own questions about his okay. mental disability. Would you like to share? Because I did <laughs> no, not do I would that not. I, I would not. It's one uh, of those then. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, I saw a picture that was enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, this is a government agency <laughs> opening a fake storefront. I'm, convincing. I'm friends with the ATF. I am not. I've gone shooting with them. Was it at children? No, but it was at it was at an airport. Oh, you're yeah, not they, supposed to shoot there. Well, it was it's on an airport property. They they had a shooting range on airport property, which is still very weird. Yeah, I had to go in through this back way where like you know uh, utility vehicles come in, and then you like you're going down the tarmac, and then you like take a right into the woods. And they just had a shooting range there. That's very strange. Um, so the ATF. <laughs> They open a fake storefront. They convince this disabled teenager to get a a really bad tattoo in a yeah. visible location um, for a fake store. And then 
they find out that the store is fake when they get arrested and booked into jail. They're like, by the way, you're an idiot. What? But wait, what was Ar- the... Why did they get arrested? Because um, it was a, a, a government sting uh, to get guns away from criminals and drugs off the street, allegedly. Yeah. That was, that was the whole uh, smoke shop was a front for that. And apparently these teens were bad. Um, oh, so these they knew these kids were up to no good. And they're like, we're going to get you a tattoo and then also throw you in jail. Yeah. So that is later insane. In this article, <laughs> um, yeah. So the Milwaukee Journal exposed this sting. Yeah. Um, of agents hiring a brain damaged man to promote an undercover storefront and then arresting him for his work. That's that's real bad. So the ATF, you're my bad boy for the week. Wow, what a twist. What like what are you doing? Let him be alive. <laughs> He's a nineteen year old trying to play Xbox and smoke weed and you're like, how about you ruin your life and get arrested because of it? Yeah. Oh they're, they're I mean look, my good friends at the ATF <laughs> they don't I was friends with them a while ago. I, I can't speak to their more recent <laughs> action, so and this is twenty thirteen, so Oh, I was there in 2011, so... <laughs> Fair enough. I was on the other side of the country. So the point is, I had nothing to do with this. Even though I previously aligned myself with the ATF and said how cool they were. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's, that's my bad boy. Squid, go fuck yourself. Um... Is that directed at any particular squid or the squid, the eponymous squid of squid smoke shop? Um, okay. And not any other squid just for the record. No, just, just that okay. squid. All right. Okay. Um, I guess I'll do my, my crime. Um, I'm excited. So our, our story begins, uh, with me scrolling to the top of true crime daily.com. <laughs> okay. So I can read the article. <laughs> Uh, this takes place in Pennsylvania. That um, does mean that you are scrolled to the bottom of the article, which is good. Dude. <laughs> it is. It implies that I at least scrolled to the bottom of it uh, and maybe read it. Um, but it takes place in, um, in a small town in Pennsylvania with about um, a thousand people. So okay. pretty small. Um, and, and it stars a uh, 25-year-old Aaron Everett. Two Aarons. A tale, wow, of two a tale of two errands. On the lamb parentheses, a tale of two errands. Boom. I'm we already, did the title. I'm already <laughs> drafting. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, this is sick. So it's a little peek behind the curtain about what happens every Sunday, like four hours before we have to upload the episode where we're just shooting ideas at each other. Uh, where both of us have forgotten the episode. Everything that happens, but now we have it figured out live. Yeah, you're gonna get to the part of the episode where I said the whole title, and you're gonna be like, "Whoa, Whoa. yeah!" <laughs> All right, so um, Aaron, the girl Aaron. Just to be clear, it's a girl Aaron, E R I N, not A A R. Oh, now how do I spell it in the title? <laughs> However you want, doesn't matter. <laughs> We're, you make it work. <laughs> okay. Add more parentheses if you need to. I think the longer the title is, the uh, the better better it does. Uh, historically, that's certainly true. Um, anyway, our our good friend um, Aaron, she was a very religious lass. You know, went to church uh, every Sunday, um, and also Wednesday. They did church on Wednesdays here, which I think already there's a red flag. Um, and you know, she wasn't much of a partier. She was she was a big fan of 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 God, you know, the big of the, of, of the Lord and um, Daddy G. Many would say, by all accounts, she was a nice girl. 
Okay. And that, uh, we'll get back. We'll circle back to that. Okay. Um, I've made the title way too long. That's fine. <laughs> We can we can workshop it maybe, but I, I still I I put in multiple parentheses, <laughs> put in three sets of parentheses. That was kind of funny. I like it. Oh, uh, but you know, normal normal gal. She's planning on getting married, having a family. Uh, it wasn't a big dater, um, and uh, but eventually dated dated a young man, and that's great. And uh, that she met through church and they got engaged, but eventually she decided she didn't want to get married. She broke off the engagement. And the reason why is because quote, obviously didn't like boys. Um, And her mom, Patricia was not a fan of her daughter being a lesbo. Um, Uh Oh, uh -oh. and you know, she was, she was upset about that. And, uh, eventually, Aaron, you know, being being a lesbian, found found herself a little cute little girlfriend, uh, Tori, uh, spelled with it's like T O R Y, which is is that like the British political party? I believe Maybe? no, no, I believe I no. Know. They're the Tories, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the singular version, I don't know. Um, so sh- her and Tori started dating. Uh, they both they met through um, working in the same hospital for like nursing and stuff because um, Aaron's a nurse and obviously uh, so is Tori because that's how they met. Um, and just like Aaron, coincidentally, Tori had just broken up with her boyfriend that she was planning on getting engaged to. Sorry what to a coincidence, that. a small world, you might say. And, and they're falling in love and everything's great. And eventually, you know, Aaron asks Tori to marry her. She's going to say yes. They got a ring. It's it's fantastic. And you might be saying, well, how is this a crime? Where's the crime? This sounds I, I great. Was, I was waiting for the twist. You're correct. <laughs> and, um, you know, they, they decide they want to move in together. So, like, um, Aaron's like, yo, can Tori – yo, mom, can Tori move into the house – and then Patricia's like, no, but I guess eventually y'all can live in the basement or some shit. Um, <laughs> and apparently over time, the relationship started getting a little a little iffy, as all do. You know, Not the mine. honeymoon phase is oh, true. We stand. Still um, in the honeymoon phase. I'm so jealous, man. <laughs> Dude, as a side, I was watching uh, these like this one food YouTuber, and like he'll occasionally post like videos of him and his girlfriend, like just like he'll make her a meal and like talk. And I'm just like watching their banter, and I'm like just wistfully like, God, I wish that was me, <laughs> but well, it never will be, and that's fine. You're doing better than other food YouTuber Dame Drops. I don't know who that is. Is he you're... dead? No. No. Uh-huh. I mean, he might be. I haven't checked in in a while. Um, he was he was known for doing like fast food reviews in his car. He went viral for like doing Five Guys review. Okay, um, and I'm more then, of like, a review bra kind of a guy, a real report uh, of the week stand. So like three probably three times a week, too. probably he would just like review a fast food restaurant. You just go to the drive through and yeah. just like he just loved everything. A lot. He was very excited about everything. Yeah. Um, How much of that was just like playing up to like five year olds on YouTube, though? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, And then he he had to make a video of like I'm getting divorced from my wife, and he in the thumbnail he's crying, and the very next video the next day is just like, wow, I love, (laughs) I love the new Dunkin' Donuts Cronut Burger or something. That's gonna be me with my Pokemon card channel once Pokemon cards become a thing again. Oh, they are selling them at Target again. That's another highlight from this week. Anyway, sorry. I'm like going way it. ADHD. Back yeah, me to too. the story. Let's find out what happens with Aaron and Tori, these these lovebirds who have hit a little bit of a rocky patch in their life. And it's going to work out, I'm sure. Um, or is it? Who's to say if I read the article or not? <laughs> um, Evidence suggests maybe. Yeah. More so than all the other times. 
Uh, so eventually, Aaron finds out a little dark secret, and that the love of her life, Tori, is cheating on her. Uh-oh. With and they've only been in a nine month relationship, so they're already like planning on getting engaged and shit way too fast. At least yeah. in my opinion. Also, for reference point, 2017 is when all this went down. So, ish, 2017 ish. So fair, fairly I recent. Remember Just, it well. It was a good year for video games, um, and not all years are. Anyway. I keep getting distracted by my own brain. Uh, so, uh, and guess who Tori was um, having her her little her little cheating time with? Um, was it the mother? No. Mm. Mm. That was my one guess. It was the fiance that she had broken up with to get with Aaron. So she was doing a little two timing on Aaron with the old flame because he like lived somewhere else. So like she would spend time in their town in Pennsylvania with Aaron. And then when she'd go to the other place, she'd spend time with him and neither knew about each other. A classic scandal or whatever. Classic cheating strategy. I don't I don't know. Mrs. Doubtfire of Of infidelity. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Mrs. Um, Doubt, old flame. Am I right, folks? (laughs) <laughs> did a little uh i was just a little the physical co- yeah <laughs> very cool yeah <laughs> i should start dabbing <laughs> if we start doing video episodes i'm gonna dab in every episode oh dude video episodes would be i'd have to work i'd have to like do my skincare routine and like get prettied up every saturday morning which i don't want to do um yeah, but maybe I'd, that would I'd improve my self-esteem maybe that would make me people like me more i don't know probably not um i do make some good faces and do some good hand gestures it's so. true you, you do i don't do a lot of physical comedy. no yeah i'm very animated it's my italian I, th- I think um i think if we start doing video episodes there's gonna be a lot of like this just like you're talking i'll be like just point at the camera <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be a lot of me holding a beyblade in my hand and just kind of fidgeting with it like occasionally looking at the camera going oh yeah um anyway sorry let's finish this stupid story because this is a pretty good one i feel like i'm doing a good job um (laughs) i don't know if the execution is all the way there but it's partially my fault no Um, it's mostly my fault for just being i did say partially (laughs) it's a small partial mostly can still be not all and then that is partial so you're right we glad we litigated that um in addition to um tori cheating on aaron this feels like I'm talking about something for The Bachelor, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> uh, some hot goss. Um, Tori was also beating the shit out of Aaron. Um, like, she gave her black eye, bloody lip, some bruises. Apparently, one point, um, the mom witnessed Tori having Aaron in a chokehold, and probably not in like a like a fun way, you know, ladies. <laughs> I think domestic abuse is bad. I agree. But some girls really like being choked. And I'm like, all right. Um, anyways. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, all, all this stuff kind of reached a boiling point. Um, with oh, There's a whole lot of other stuff in here that I don't want to get into. Because um, eventually... The, the old fiance finds out about Aaron and wants, they basically mutually want Tori to break up with the other person. Cause duh. Yeah. Obviously they should just drop her. Cause she's a bad person. Yeah. She's I think physically she should, I think Tori should be broken up with by everybody involved. And you know what? We'll circle back to that. All right. And, <laughs> and, um, But Tori, she, much like Hannah Montana, Hannah Montana wanted, uh, yep, the best of both worlds. It doesn't work when I stumble over my words. Um, She, you know, living that double life, sort of, you know, sleeping with, we've, we've, we've covered that. We've litigated that. And then somehow Tori was found dead in the basement 
like the same basement that her, her and Aaron lived in, uh, with two gunshot wounds to the head, and also her skull was bashed in with a hammer. Hmm. Um, she's also apparently totally Classic naked. Classic case of suicide. Classic suicide where you bash your own head in <laughs> and also are shot. Uh, Multitasking. You just go pam, bam, and then bonk. <laughs> did you ever hear the story of the guy who like tried to commit suicide in the like most brutal way? And like failed? Yeah. Yeah. Is that is that a popular story? Is that real? I'm sure it is real. I don't know if there's like one story about it as much as I'm sure it's probably happened and people talk about it. The one that I know of, I heard as a child, this was like 20 years ago at this point, not quite 20, but long enough. Um, for this guy who like drank poison and then tried to hang himself off a cliff while on fire. And then while hanging shot himself in the head. Oh, yeah, that, and then it's like he misses the up, thing, right? so he shoots the rope, and then like in he, he drinks the poison, the, but he fell he off the cliff, like, water, into, so he throws it all up, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, and then like he got pneumonia and died in the hospital. Yeah, but like he wanted to die um, where nobody would find him ever. Yeah, something like that. I have heard uh, that one sounds fake. I believed it until like just now when I considered it as an adult for the first time. Yeah. I was like, you know what? There's no way that a child knew this story. <laughs> there's uh, there's also better ways of like, if you didn't want to be found, there's ways to do, there's ways to do that. What are those ways? Just for the, just for the folks on the call. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, <laughs> so poor Tori is dead. So sad. Um, so Aaron calls her mom and is telling her mom that she found um, Aaron, or Tori dead. And she was saying that it was a guy and he had a mask on and he had a hammer. And he was telling Tori, you're coming with me. You're coming with me. And then um, – Aaron was apparently said she was trying to like help get the man away from her, but then the man tied her feet and hands together. Um, and then she only, the man only came for Tori. Yeah. So she just left the, the man left Aaron there. Um, and then killed her allegedly. Um, and then she didn't get a look at the guy's face, but she said it was, it was the fiance of Tori. Um, it's believable. And it certainly is believable, isn't it? Um, so, you know, the police are like, well, this, there's a motive. It looked like an emotional thing. Sure. That tracks prime suspect. Um, And then Cody is like, or the the guy, the the fiance, whose name is Cody. It's spelled with a K. I don't like that. Um, he he denies killing Tori, and he didn't even realize that her relationship with Aaron was romantic. Um, he just thought he was a, she was a roommate. So it's kind of weird. Seems seems like a a fib. Seems yes. like it seems like something a little goofy as a foot. Um, and then he also had like a super good alibi where he was like at his job so <laughs> couldn't have been him um, so then they, the, the police go back to Aaron yeah that would be my who was the only suspect. one who was with her when she was murdered that would be my second suspect and they were like hmm maybe maybe a woman killed somebody and they're like, well, let's double check. Cause there's no way that could happen. Um, <laughs> and let's see. Um, what did they find? Hmm. 
they well the thing is is that uh, Aaron said that the intruder entered through a window. They broke a window and they intruder came in. Intruder window. Intruder window. Yes. <laughs> But the police noticed that the the glass had been broken from the inside, not the outside. And how can you tell that? Uh, probably because if you if you break it one way, the glass is going to fall out that way. Versus if you punch it the other way, it's going to fall. If I haven't broken a lot of glass, so I could be full of shit. But I feel like that makes sense. Yeah, that is how physics That's- works. I've seen like. In the in the BBC Sherlock or whatever, I think they talk about it, and other like detective shows, they talk about like oh, the glass is clearly broken from the inside, and then it like shows an example, and it shows like the break pattern, but it doesn't like it's not showing where the glass, the broken glass landed. It's showing the break pattern, and I've always been confused. I'm glad we're on the same page. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. Um, so basically, eventually, the cops are like, look, you did it. And she's like, well, yeah. <laughs> well, if uh, the, you're going to ask so directly. She, the, the exchange with the detective is really funny. She, the detective's like asking her like what was going through your head. She, the detective's like, what are you thinking about? And Aaron was like, I was thinking about how much I wanted to be with her. The detective says, so then you went upstairs and got the gun. And, and she was like, right. And yeah. then I took it downstairs and I shot her once. And where did you shoot her the first time? In the head. 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 <laughs> and then she was moaning and then I shot her again. And... Um, and apparently she hit her with the hammer because... Um, Tori was gurgling mm. and Aaron wasn't a fan of that. Yeah. Um, and Seems. basically, yeah. So the mom's like, no, there's no way that she did that, but I guess she did. Um, so Aaron was not such a nice girl after all. And also happy pride month. I said, I was going to get, some LGBT I true crime last we week. Doing that. And I did. Girl boss stays winning, except um should it go to jail. Oh, hold on. So Yeah, she's yeah, she's in jail. <laughs> okay. For sure. For sure, for sure. Yeah. So don't date um bisexual women, I guess. <laughs> Tori is the bad boy of the week <laughs> for cheating. I mean, sure. Fair. Yeah. There we go. Uh, yeah. That was That's, a decent story. Yeah. I could see that being like a mini series true crime show on Netflix. Making a murderer, but it's like for lesbians. Yeah. Yeah. Making a girl boss. <laughs> I, I Look, had this the cheekiest the little smile. <laughs> this ain't Bill the Bitch. You can't pick and choose. Oh, they added KK Slider to Build a Bear Workshop. Hmm. Hey, I've never been to a Build a Bear. Really? You haven't? I don't know if we have them in my country, to be honest. Mm, that's fair. You gotta, also, you gotta take like, your wife to a damn build a bear. Um, it's such a fun time. Maybe. I love build a bear. We're gonna be hanging out soon. That's yeah. good. Yeah, that's why I quit my job. I was like, you know what? I need zero distractions. Does the candy factory distract you that much? <laughs> you can't just take a vacation. <laughs> it takes up a lot of my time. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm just not going to be there anymore. They don't okay. need me. Yeah. Well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we will. We will miss the stories. I hope. I hope you run into the Nigerian one last time. Um. Oh, there was uh, a rumor mill 
that he got fired. Oh no! Because, um, <laughs> because um, he was a rapist. <laughs> yeah. Um, on on the last day that we were working together, which was this Thursday, um, he left mysteriously, very quickly, at like noon, and he's supposed to leave at like six thirty. Yeah, and that's I, a little. That's a little after. That, you know, noon's a little early. It's a little early. And when does he come in at like ten? Seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was like that was very early, and then someone came up to me and they're like, "Hey, did you hear that the Nigerian got fired?" And I was like, "I did not hear that." <laughs> I, I, I like. It's funny to imagine them actually saying the Nigerian, <laughs> not what his name is. I'm yeah. assuming. It's they not, just said his name, yeah. Yeah, they, they did just say his name. Um, <laughs> and I was like, I did not hear that. And they're like, yeah, like, he's not here. And, like, he just walked by uh, the boss. And, was, like, not the, the big boss, but, like, his boss. And I was like, all right, goodbye. Like, see ya. Uh, and then just, like, left. And I was like, oh. So he's, like, been fired. Yeah. Um, and then I talked to someone who works closely with him. And uh, the real story is that he was just tired and he was like, I'm just going to go home. And his boss was like, no, like you can't just decide to go home because you're tired. Everybody's tired. That's what jobs are. Uh, and then he's just like, I'm just going to go home anyway. And uh, like nothing happened. Everything's fine. But oh. so he didn't get fired. No, it was just a rumor. Rumor has it. Yeah, it's a horrible um, song. And then the day after that, I uh, I put in my notice. So what a twist! You should have you should have opened with that story, and then done the reveal that I was firing myself. Yeah, in protest. Yeah. And I've been like, really? And you'd be like, I I did quit. <laughs> <laughs> For real, uh, I'm done. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot of um, shenaniganery, let's say, going on at the candy factory that I don't want to be a part of. So, Dang. I guess you'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. For That's now. <laughs> In two weeks from now. Two weeks from now, who's to say? Uh, but also two weeks from now, I will be um, oh, yeah, on, be vacation. on vacation. Yeah. I will be on vacation. Um, so perhaps we will batch record. Maybe. like, Or perhaps we'll go on hiatus. A little, a little hiatus wouldn't hurt anybody. I'll, I can just sit in my apartment and uh, by myself. <laughs> And play yeah. Minecraft with nobody. Again, guys, join the Discord. Pin tweet Bad Boy Crimes <laughs> pod yeah. on Twitter. Um, if you recall last week's episode. Ask me to join the Minecraft realm. <laughs> if you recall last week's episode, first of all, we had a Discord member as a guest. And yeah. we also mentioned a lot of Discord members. So if you join, there's a chance you could be on this podcast. Yeah. And you and you'll make some be, friends. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a nice little community. A lot Again, of cool with like people. one exception. Yeah. <laughs> one and a half exceptions. <laughs> I still don't know what the other half is. You know. I don't. Please type it so I know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, one of them I have already typed in chat, let's say. And the other uh, one... Um, is like half a person. Is there a child? That? Yes. Okay. Yes. Bingo. <laughs> we we have solved. It. I knew the. Ha- I guess I knew the half, and I didn't know the other one. But I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. Doxed. Doxed. They know who they are. <laughs> yeah, they absolutely do know who they are. Uh, one of them has never listened, and I'm not even sure is aware that this podcast <laughs> exists. Yeah, I think they think this Discord server is like a a fan server for my Twitch, which it is it's, not. No, 
<laughs> but follow on Twitch as well. Yeah. Robinson B. Caruso on Twitch, I think, is what it is. Yeah. Throw me your Twitch Prime money. <laughs> Boo. Um, um, yeah, I'm I'm unemployed. I have no prospects. So please support the podcast. Make a Patreon for your music. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, like, I don't even know what I would do for that. Just you, you, you post the, the works in progress behind the scenes stuff and then give them early access. Yeah. For free. That's what you do. That's your, that's your monetization. And you only, but you, that you, that you put that behind like a $5 tier and then you okay. put the $1 tiers just for support, just for fun. Yeah. I mean, there I you could, go. I you guess. could do that. You could easily do that. Well, what's the worst case scenario? Nobody does anything. Yeah, it's like I, I put in an effort and work, and um, well, you only like start if, you only start doing it when people throw in the money. Yeah, but like I have to set up a Patreon. It doesn't take that long. I've done it for and my then, YouTube like, channel. There's the expectation. There's the expectation. I think that like if you sign up to a Patreon months down the line, that there's a backlog of content. I mean, here's the thing. I I'm have, a reasonable. I'm a patron for reasonable beef, and they maybe do one bonus episode every three months, which there's they were supposed yeah, to do it like multiple times a month. Yeah, and now they've changed it to one, and they still don't even hit that mark. Not the shit on reasonable beef, but y'all who listen all, that also listen to that, y'all know what I'm fucking talking about. You're, you know, <laughs> you're a well-to-do white man. I don't yeah. know if my fans have the disposable income to. Yeah, your fans are like kids with like fast food jobs. Yeah. <laughs> Which is also the fans for this podcast. I, I've come to realize. True. So, so what you're saying is we need a Patreon. Yeah. Where we have a bonus episode we'll once do, a month. We'll do it double patreon half this podcast half my music sure <laughs> if you contribute 35 dollars a month i will make you a custom 30 second song every month okay i'll use that for my game development <laughs> i mean i could just make you a game soundtrack well, I have you know, to make the game first. Yeah, if you make a game, I, well, I already I already was thinking of ideas of stuff that I want you to make for it. <laughs> okay, I was doing that this week when I was supposed to be doing my job. Yeah, I was like, but wouldn't it be cool if there was like a sa- a snowy version? Because you love your snow music. I, I'm good at snow music. The main Halo Three ODST soundtrack, and then also make it kind of fantasy sounding. Okay. Or fi- Final Fantasy sounding specifically, and I would okay. think that would be. Liddy. I'll have to. Work I guess on stop my... doing physical comedy. Yeah, I have. I have to work on my choirs. I guess. No, I, no, no, no choirs. I, I I don't know what the the like Final Fantasy stuff cultist like. chanting of the ODST. Oh no! Means. It's it. No, 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 no. I'll I'll post it in the Discord now that That's we're basically fine. just. We're it's just, a, it's a nice fun ripping. track. There's a good video that I saw of a frog in the rain listening to that oh, music, and I was like, "That's very relevant to my life right now." Frogs in the rain. Frog rain odst. Hopefully, this exists. <laughs> it's not just a thing that you invented in your well, mind. Well, it's on it's on um, it's on Tumblr, which is the problem. That's where I saw it. So I don't. Okay, beautiful. Somebody clipped the video and posted it on YouTube and it has 31 views. Woo! Because they also saw it a week ago and had the same thought I did, baby. Uh, I like when that happens. Oh, me too. You're just like, oh, I have stumbled onto a thing that nobody else in the world cares about. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm glad somebody else cared enough to upload it so that I could enjoy it. Oh, um, this is a good my, tune. It's a good, it's a nice somber little ditty. This Halo is 3 a ODS, Oh, I, that's what I listened to this. I'm like, oh, if Skillshot could do the snow version of this. Yeah. For a video game. Just do little piano trills. Oh, it's easy. oh I love piano trills. Yeah. This is the Game Boys podcast. 
All right, I'm going to make game the Boy soundtrack, Crimes. and then you make the game. <laughs> the game <laughs> the to game the soundtrack. Is, the game is purely in service of the soundtrack. I mean, some of the best games are like that, man. Have you played Journey? Uh, I've seen Journey. This, well, you can just listen to the soundtrack yeah. and like look at pictures, and that's you're there. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, not really. It is one I of those did. games that you should play because it it's pairs you with... No, it's not. No, no, it's not about a version. I hate a version of video games. Idiot. Idiot. <laughs> Don't talk to me about video games. Um, right, I'm sorry. No, because you're like, when you're on your journey, it will pair you with a stranger to like do it together. Very, very not immersive. Yeah. And then you can only communicate by hitting different buttons and jumping around. Like there's no voice chat. That's good. Yeah, it's it's, is it's nice. It's a nice like three hour game. It's got sand. It's got a great soundtrack. I highly re- if you haven't played Journey in the last decade, maybe check it out. It's pretty good. Um, I did play everything. This is we, similar vibe to that. Yeah, yeah. That's got what Alan Watts speeches in it while you're being everything. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Um, everything's a good game check it out folks journey is a game no i don't want the band <laughs> yeah you're gonna get the i match. mean the band's fine but i want the game steve Barry. It came out in 2012 okay so it's 15 dollars on steam wait for the steam summer sale it'll probably be like two dollars yeah it's probably on switch or something right probably it's on everything um, but Journey is is a it's a good little art game. Um, yeah. Respect independent art, folks. Well, what is well they, that game company has made a few games. Um, so I'm writing the, the episode description while I still remember what has been said because as soon as I stop recording, uh, it's all gone. Yeah. Rough. Wait, also, has that game company even oh, made yeah. anything since Journey? I don't think they have. No, I would. It's like Rockstar hasn't made anything since Grand Theft Auto Five, right? Like, no, they made Red Dead Two. Yeah, I know. It was. I'm just like make another game. Dude. That's like they just have like multiple. New. They have multiple studios. Um. Okay, so these guys made. All right, folks. That's the end of the episode. All right. <laughs> Me and Coach are just going to hang out together, but I don't think you need to be here for this. Goodbye.